Okay, we're done with the washing. And now, we're going to take this out of there. I only kept it in there for like two minutes. I think four minutes is way too much time for something that's this simple. I'll lift this out this time. Let the IPA ring out of there. I do notice that that tank is getting a little bit cloudy. I should probably want to replace that or filter it at some point. Uh-huh. Now the point of this cannon is to make sure that it fits uh, better in the connector, but I'll need to put this in here just to have a place for it. I'm going to put this back on. Alright, put our IPA over here. Ah, did a good job. You did a good job, sir. I'm going to put this over here. Alright, bring this down. We're going to pick up our part again. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it on this, and the reason I put this thing off center is because there's a little nub there, and there's a mirror underneath it, and I want that mirror to shine through the wheel, or up through the, uh, the turntable, and it won't shine up through here, but it'll shine through there, so I know it's not centered, but that's fine. No big deal. And uh, also, while we're here, I'm going to get this resin take it out of there. Actually, uh, there's no rush to cure that right now, so I might as well just go ahead and take this resin out. So I want to start working with this right here, this black resin. But for the time being, I think I'm done experimenting with the clear stuff. I'll play with the clear stuff more later. And I want to start printing parts that have color on them, like that are going to be flat pieces. Let's open up this bottle. There we go. I'm going to take my little plastic scrap over here. Alright, while my print's got down, that's nice. Take this little scrap over here, kind of go around and feel for any parts that are uh, anything uh, stuck to the front. Not really much, there's a little ring there. That's about it. Okay. I'm going to get my little funnel. Just a little plastic funnel, that's all it is. Let's do this. There we go. Put our screws to the side here. Now I'm going to use this little pour spout to get our resin out of here. Be very, very careful with this. You do not want resin going everywhere. Let's see if I can take this with one hand. Oh. I hope this funnel's not going to move. Oh, I'm scared. this very slowly. I do not want this resin going anywhere. I don't want it to. Oh, I'm scared. I think I got it though. I think I got it for the most part. Alright. Oh, that's scary. Never done that before. But we needed to do it, because I don't want to be playing with pure resin all the time. I want to start doing stuff in a different color. Alright. I think for the rest of the stuff that's in here, I'm going to get my little plastic scraper. Let's try to hurt it all up. Come on. Tools. Scrape the rest of this up. Put it all in one place. Tilt it towards the thing. Keep it coercive to come to get out of there. The less resin we have uh, in the trash can, the better. So let's put the most of it back in the bottle. This resin is expensive, you know? 
like fifty dollars a no forty dollars a bottle a kilogram. So we don't want to we don't want to be wasting any resin. All right, I'm gonna put my screen back now. Actually, before I even put my screen back, I'm gonna set it off to the side here. I want to clean that off before I let it touch the screen. Turn our funnel good. Okay. I do wish I had somewhere to put this funnel that was not in my ear, but I guess we just have to do with that. Put this cap back on. Alright, and we'll put this back over here. And that was it. That was all the clear resin. Hooray! So now we're gonna play with this. I know we haven't cured that guy yet, but I'm gonna make the most out of it, out of these gloves that I can. Okay. Alright, uh I want, I want you, okay, I want some IPA, give me, me some IPA now, ah, there we go, got some IPA, close that bottle up, I don't want any of that going to waste, we're going to try to wipe out this resin as much as we can. We're not going to get it all, but we're trying to get most of it. Ah. Just basically all we want to do is clean off our cut. We don't want to leave any, uh, we don't want to leave anything on it. If we can avoid it, then why not? Okay. That's going to take care of. I want another towel. Probably consider a uh, paper towel holder. That that way I don't have to touch my towel with the uh, with like uncured uh, gloves. Doing my best not to infect my own hands. There we go. Set that guy right there. Let's get another glove. Actually, while we're out here, let's go ahead and, uh, we can probably go ahead and cure our piece, now that I have a clean glove. No, let's not, let's not do that yet. Let's, we'll wait, we'll wait. I want this, I want this situation under control before I do anything else. I kind of wish I had a spray bottle of IPA. That might be a good investment. I do have spray bottles. We have IPA. So, let's see if we can bring the two together. I want to get this little bit of resin off my printer here. A little bit right there. I don't want that there. Okay. Let's finish cleaning this guy up. He's almost done. There's just a few things we gotta wipe up. Wipe this up too. I know we don't have to, but let's just do it. Fuck it. Let's not wipe that off until we get uh, the LCD. Speaking of the LCD, that's uh, that's just been exposed this whole time. I'm gonna try to hope that doesn't leak. Huh. 
I did not think about that. Alright, this towel is ruined. I'm putting that on the thing, don't touch it on the gloves. Okay. all that IPA evaporates. I see like a cloudy screen. I don't know how much I like that. Black resin. Oh, hello there. All right. Last thing to do is to cure this guy. And in this case, you definitely want to have the hood on it. Because UV light is bad for you. Let's cure it for a couple minutes. And then we flip it over. And cure it for another couple minutes. Or actually, a minute and a half, stop it, and cut it for another minute and a half. It does make me feel better that there's no resin in there right now. Alright. 
uh, we can leave it like it is. Let's go ahead and shut this down. It doesn't need to be kept on. I'm oh, sorry, you couldn't even see. I thought I heard my printer clicking over there. That usually means it's clogging. They'll start doing that once they get at the, uh, the end of the spool. I notice it'll just start binding and it'll start clogging for no reason. It doesn't happen with all types of filament, but I notice it happens with this purple filament. Specifically this purple filament, which is why I got a brand new roll of this sitting up there waiting to be used. Okay. Uh-oh. Forgot to stop it. Okay. Then we're going to take it. I'm sure that it's roughly safe enough to touch right now, so let's go ahead and just flip it over real quick. Just like that. Yeah. And then start it for another minute. Okay. I'm not touching this dowel. This dowel is uh, probably bad news. So I bark it when I have my dirty gloves. Alright. Now we're starting to get to kind of a business as usual sort of situation where it's like I kind of know what to do. Uh, there's going to be a lot more to explore along the way and then I'll record those moments. As we go along. I'm worried that this guy's gonna start vlogging. Seems like he's doing okay. Now look, the people are over there. I don't know how long we've been recording. Probably about 10 minutes so far. Ah, a new resin piece. Whoop! Fully cured. Look at that. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more too cured, but I don't care. Looks fine. Alright. We'll explore this guy and his potential in another video.